The name of our group is Crop Garden, and the inspiration for our design was the NFT system. We were able to align the baby formula bottles in a horizontal fashion to our house, our plants. We used a sterile storage container to support our system and to act as a nutrient reservoir. Our greatest challenges were making sure that there were no leaks in the system, so we used silicone sealant on the exterior of the system to prevent further leaks. Our design proves that hydroponic systems can be simple and easy to assemble with the use of familiar recycled material. The name of our group is Green is Better, and our project was designed as a vertically integrated growing system. We utilized basic household materials such as a sterile garbage pail, a PVC pipe, PVC fittings, a recycling pail, recycled baby formula bottles, and recycled water bottles. One challenge was figuring out how to support the PVC pipe in an upright position. We developed the idea to invert a large plant plot and recycling pail inside the reservoir. In order to get an upload full of water, we ran poly pipe tubing inside a PVC from pump to the half inch splitter. We utilized recycled one liter water bottles for our growing compartments and used baby formula bottles as part of the collection system to recirculate the water back into the reservoir. Our greatest challenge was figuring out how to adjust the flow rate of the water to ensure a steady stream without drowning the plants. The name of our group is Jade Hydroponics. This model was an inspiration for our system design. My group des liked the design and decided to adapt the spiral staircase model by utilizing PVC pipes and PVC fittings. Our project was based on a modified version of the NFT system. We used a plexiglass fish tank to support the system, and we used as a reservoir at the same time. With the help of our maintenance department, we were able to obtain PVC piping and elbows. Once the PVC was cut, we assembled our structure using a rubber hammer. We ran poly pipe tubing on the inside of the vert vertical PVC where water would flow upward and stream downward due to gravity. Our greatest challenge was finding support for our structure and with help from our maintenance engineer, he was able to fashion an efficient support system with some plumbing accessories. We are proud to have participated in this challenge and we believe the hydroponics will become increasingly popular in the future for both commercial growers and the average consumer. The name of our group is Eco-Friendly Hydroponics and our system combines the elements of the NFT and the ebb and flow designs. We used rectangular troughs for our growing compartments and built a wooden frame for support. We constructed the frame so the troughs would be on a slight slant, allowing for better flow back into the reservoir. We modeled our method of water flow after the NFT system by running poly pipe tubing from the pump around the outside of the support. We drilled a small hole in each trough and by using 5 millimeter emitter nipples and feed line tubing, we were able to pump water into the growing compartments. Finally, we had to drill small holes into the lower end of the trough to drain the water downward into the reservoir. Also, we were able to track our maintenance information by using the GrowLog app on our cell phones. The name of our group is Hurricane Hydroponics. After some brainstorming, our group developed a circular structure modeled after an NFT system. We voted on using a tire that Mr. Lavopi had in his garage. We cut out holes on the top of the tire so that we could place the plants and the net pots inside the holes. In order to feed the plants directly, we decided to run poly, poly pipe tubing from the pump around the outside of the tire. Using 5 millimeter emitter nipples and feeding tubing, we were able to provide each plant with its own flu of nutrient-enriched water. Finally, we had to select the appropriate reservoir that would support the system. We used a circular reservoir from a previous tower system we, that we had in the classroom. The hydroponics games module provided us with an opportunity to design and build a hydroponic system from, from scratch. The overall project allowed us to employ the scientific method and our knowledge of hydroponics to help solve a real-world problem. It provided a unique experience that blended practical critical thinking and problem-solving skills with a splash of science, technology, engineering, and math.